One take. One take. Oh, that's all I ever do. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. It's rolling. So. Is it going? It's going. <laughs> I'll start it from there. Uh, <laughs> I'm Dr. Borey on Civilized Vitality. Uh, like, subscribe, share, make comments. Got that out of the way. We're having the turtles meeting tonight, and I want to go over uh, Infinity Harness 2.0. So I made the Infinity Harness, and you can find that video where I showed how I would use my tech lock and a piece of paracord tied in a loop and a figure eight, and I would use that to hold my knife because I don't like when my knife swings from my neck. This is a replica of uh, Utsi, the Iceman's knife. Got this from Topps Knives. They found that guy frozen the ice with all the tools. He had a little tiny knife on him and, a, and an axe. Those were his cutting tools. And he had this just as little tiny. This is a replica of steel, not stone, but he always carried it right here. I've always liked neck knives, except for two things. I don't like things around my neck, and I don't like when the thing swings out in front of me when I bend over to do tasks. So I came up with a way uh, to make a little harness, and here's the little package that'll come in. It's got a tactical toggle in there. I got another video about those. Uh, the great a cord lock, and some cordage from our good friends at Paracord Planet. They don't send me any cordage. I just love it, and I buy tons of it. We've got a whole room full of Paracord Planet. Um, dot com. You get them on Amazon. They have their own website. This is blue shot cord. It comes in lots of colors. You get it in bright yellow. You can get it in like a red, white, and blue if you're feeling patriotic. You can go stealth mode with it. The black. So I got that. You get your little cord in here. Here's the kit. It comes with a piece of paracord, and typically they're measured with one wingspan, and then like another almost arm's length. And then the other two pieces in your kit is going to be a tactical toggle and a, a cord lock. Just like that. Oh, you want to see it more? Okay. I put it in my chewed up hand. That's not going to go well in camera. So you're going to slide the cord through the tactical toggle. And then you're going to put your cord lock on the other end. Just goes through, comes up and goes back through. Right. And then I'm going to take these two ends and I'm going to measure them around like my back and my shoulders. Let's see if I can get that over. Like this. And then over that shoulder. I think I would have figured this out by now. Yeah. This is why we do one take because I'm super smooth with these things. <laughs> So I got that around my back and shoulders like a like a figure eight, and then I'm just going to tie these two ends together. And there's different ways you can tie them. You can do a double overhand. This is where we're going to learn that knot I had on earlier. But just for the purposes of the quickness, I'm going to tie an overhand knot around the cord so that it slides, and then I'm going to tie another overhand knot around this side of the cord. When we do the craft as a group, I'm going to show you guys a knot called a, a simple Simon under. Or you can do a, a follow through figure eight because they're both flat knots. All right, just like that. And I've tied my cord together. Now I get get back out of that. So I know the distance. Some of you will have to cut off pieces of cord. And I want my toggle at the opposite end of my cord lock. Push that through a little bit. Got a little loop. And then you take this loop. And you twist it around once, that's infinity harness because it makes an infinity sign, or you can twist it a couple times. Then you just slide it up onto your shoulders, put that part behind you, find your cord lock and your toggle. You'll have to adjust these a little bit, right, to get them where they, they need to go. Then I take my toggle and I put it through that little loop and I cinch that toggle, that uh, cord lock up so my toggle stays. And now I've got my harness on. Because it's shock cord, you wear it all weekend, it won't bother you, and it's got a little give when you're breathing or stretched over the top of your coat, uh, clothes. Now, the reason this works so well is because now I can put my knife, this is an SE Azula, they've got a cool sheath, which is what I, I started out with. It's got this large hole at the end. Well, I just pull my toggle forward and stuff the toggle through that hole. And now my knife is hanging right there doesn't swing forward, it's right where I need it, it's on the center line, so in emergency situations when I go fetal, I've got my knife here. I wouldn't rip it out 
all right? Because the paracord might bounce, or the shock cord might bounce a little, but I can do that, pull it out with my thumb. I can kind of pull it out, but it'll snap back up and hit me, so just do that. If I have a different type of knife that doesn't have that cool hole, let's say I'm just running a, a, a Mora knife with the standard clip. I just clip that there, now there's my Mora knife laying on the front right where I have it. Outside of my clothes, uh, coat, especially in the winter, so you're not digging for your belt knife. Right? It's not in the way when I sit down or do anything. If you do have a knife I showed on the original Infinity Harness uh, video that's got a tech lock, right? I just run that tech lock across there. Now I've got that knife there. Right? I can do that. I suggest you use two hands when you put that away. Don't just be poking around in the dark with it. It's America. Do what you want. There's other knives, uh, ways to carry. I've got a little Mora Eldris here that I just duct taped a little belt keeper to. Belt minders, right? I can put that on there and clip it over. Now I've got my Eldris hanging here. Let's say you get a little knife like this that's just got a leather pouch, kind of like uh, Ootsie the Iceman. One of the things you can do is I can open my cord lock up. And then before I cinch my, my harness down, I'm just going to run my toggle cord through there. Then button it through here, just like a buttonhole, a button and a hook, cinch that cord up, and now my knife is dangling here. I'm also not suggesting you carry this beneath your clothing in a concealed manner, and it's not just because there's a police officer present that I'm saying that. <laughs> just saying it's on YouTube and I don't want liability. But if I did put my shirt over it, it's a good place to keep your knife. It's right by your heart, center line. I got the little knife, I can cut and do things, and I can drop it right back in there. I don't have to worry about it falling out anywhere. If we're getting somewhere where I don't want to maybe wear my knife in, I can unbutton it from that, that harness, take the knife off. Maybe I don't want it showing. I can unbutton that and just leave the harness in place. It's not going to go anywhere off my shoulders. The twist in the back will keep it from creeping up over your neck. You can carry... Depending on the shock cord size you use, the Paracord Planet, this is the 8th inch, you go up a little bigger. But if you get a heavier knife, this is my belt rig with, uh, this is an LT Wright uh, Nesmuk knife with a fire steel. It's a little heavier with that tech lock, but you still see that, it did, it, I mean it still it doesn't go anywhere, and this is kind of a heavy knife. I wouldn't carry this one maybe inverted because it is a heavy knife. Although, as another shameless plug, this is an LT Wright uh, Yellowhawk Custom Kydex sheath. You can hear that lock. It's not going anywhere. So this is the uh, Infinity Harness 2.0 with shock cord. And I put them together into little packages with all the things you need. Um, I think we're going to sell these. If you comment below and you're interested, you can contact us. We can send one off. Patrick said, how much? I said it. At least 10. Okay, 10 bucks. Uh, <laughs> Probably more. <laughs> Probably more, he said. We'll go 10 bucks. Uh, I put all, you can make this yourself, so I made the video. A piece of shot cord, tactical toggle, a little bush, um, a little um, keeper. I got one for each of the turtle members here tonight, Valentine's Day gift. Uh, and then we'll make these. You might have to, I have a special one for uh, Bonnie because I was running out of shot cord at the end, and I almost threw that piece away, and I thought, I know someone that'd fit. So I wound it up, put it back in the bag. Uh, so I got some of these in a few colors. We'll get those in a minute. So there, live, semi-live video. I did it on the spot. So like, share, subscribe, and then uh, show everybody here so they know that I'm not talking to myself. Okay. Just a quick pan. Do a little, little spin around here. Yeah, so everybody at home gets the right idea. All right, bye. We can just hit that. <laughs>